Do you know that every enemy of God and every enemy of the Lord Jesus will one day pay tribute to him? Every knee will bow, every tongue will confess that Jesus is the Christ of God and he is Lord of all. Do you see that he, he always judges them perfectly even as they try to pretend that they're not what he knows them to be. <laughs> they're trying to flatter him. They're trying to give the impression that they, they're, they're admirers of his. They don't want him to see that they hate him. But there he is perfectly assessing them. Why are you testing me? Why are you seeking to entrap me? Which is exactly what they were doing. You are hypocrites. You, you wear a mask. And so there is the Lord bringing men face to face with who they really are even when they don't want to admit who they really are. Isn't this what happens when the Word of God goes forth? Isn't this what happens every time we open the Bible together? Isn't it true that the Word of God brings us face to face with who we really are, even when we don't want to admit who we really are? Who has the power to do that in human lives, the Son of God, through the preaching of the Word of God? Do you know everyone who has ever been saved has heard the voice of the Son of God? Not audibly, but spiritually in their hearts. As the gospel has gone forth, the call of God to be saved is the call of the Son of God himself. So as the word of God goes forth, who brings people face to face with their true sin problem? Who brings people face to face with their true lost condition? Who brings people face to face with their need to repent and turn from their sins and trust in Christ alone for salvation? The Son of God is calling sinners today as the glory of the Son of God is put on display in verses like these. You recognize the voice bringing conviction to your heart? Do you recognize the voice of the one pointing you to your need for forgiveness of your sins and reconciliation with your Creator? It's Jesus speaking to you. 